Our objective for this lesson is to solve problems involving inverse function. Prerequisite knowledge needed for this lesson is inverse of one-to-one -one functions. What again is the concept of inverse function? It undo what the function does. Let's start. Your mom from Arizona called and told you that your little brother has 105.8 degrees Fahrenheit temperature. Do you have any reason to worry for your brother? Do you still remember our lesson in science? How do we convert degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit? Given the degrees Celsius, we have to multiply it by 9, then divide it by 5, and then add 32. But this time, we are going to reverse the process because the given is in Fahrenheit. So from degree Fahrenheit to Celsius, we have to deduct 32 because that is the inverse of adding 32 and then multiply it by 5 because that is the inverse of dividing by 5 and then dividing by 9 because that is the inverse of multiplying by 9. So let us convert. Degree Celsius is, given the degree Fahrenheit of 105.8, let us deduct 32, and then let's multiply it by 5, and then divide it by 9. 105.8 minus 32 is 73.8, times 5, divided by 9, is 41 degrees. So yes, there is a reason to worry. Because 41 degrees Celsius is a very hot temperature. Let's have another problem. Elastic bands are used in exercising to tone up for a more defined muscular physique. A band's resistance, denoted in R and measured in pounds, can be modeled by R equals 3 over 8 times L minus 5, where L is the total length of the stretch band in inches. Find the length at which the band provides 15 pounds of resistance. So, we are given the formula of R. But we are asked to determine L if our R is 15 pounds. So, we have to solve for the value of L. To do that, let us move first negative 5 to the other side. So, it will become R plus 5 equals 3 over 8 of L. To solve for L, we have to eliminate 3 over 8, and we can do that by multiplying both sides by its reciprocal. So let us multiply both sides by 8 over 3. So 3 and 3 will be cancelled out as well as 8 and 8. For this side, 8 over 3 times R is 8 over 3 R. And 8 times 5 is 40 divided by 3, so plus 40 over 3 equals L. So let me just switch their position and let me substitute 15 for R. So L is equal to 8 over 3 and then our R is 15 plus 40 over 3. 15 and 3 here can be simplified. So this will just be 5. 8 times 5 is 40. So we have 40 plus 40 over 3. LCD is 3. 3 divided by 1 is 3 times 40 is 120. 3 divided by 3 is 1 times 40 is plus 40. 120 plus 40 is 160. So we have 160 over 3 inches. That is the length if our R is 15 pounds. Another example. Love is in the air for Ligaya and Pedro, though they are in May-December affair. Ligaya's age can be represented by f of x equals x plus 12, where x is Pedro's age. Letter A. Express the age of Pedro in function. And letter B. How old is Pedro if Ligaya is now 45 years old? So what we are given here is the function for the age of Ligaya. In letter A, we are asked to determine the function for the age of Pedro. So meaning, we have to determine the inverse of our f of x. So to do that, let us first copy our f of x. Let us recall the steps in determining the inverse. First step, let us change f of x to y. Second step, let us interchange x and y. Third step, let us solve for y. And to solve for y, let us move 12 to the other side. So this will become x minus 12 is equal to y. 
And last step, let us change y into f inverse of x. So, f inverse of x is equal to x minus 12. This is the function for Pedro's age. Now, letter B. How old is Pedro if Ligaya is now 45 years old? Since we already have the function for the age of Pedro, we can simply substitute 45 for x to determine Pedro's age. So, let us substitute 45. So, 45 minus 12 is 33. Therefore, Pedro is 33 years old while Ligaya is 45 years old. Next one, Boy Belize is traveling at 70 kilometers per hour. Letter A. Determine how far did he travel after two hours. Letter B. He knows that he has already traveled 420 kilometers because he is now in Bicol. How long he has been traveling? So let's start. So let X be the number of hours and Y is the total distance covered. So my Y is dependent on my X. It says here he travels 70 km per hour. So Y is equal to 70 X. 70 times the number of hours is equal to the total distance covered. Letter A, it says here that he already traveled for 2 hours. So if X is equal to 2, what is Y? Let us substitute 2 for X. So Y is equal to 70 times 2. And that is 140. Therefore, Boy Belize has traveled 140 kilometers for 2 hours. Next, for letter B, the distance covered is given. And we are asked to determine the number of hours that Boy Belize has been traveling. So, if Y is equal to 420, how many hours he has been on the road? Our function is Y equals 70X. Our Y is given. So we are going to solve for x. Let us substitute first 420 for y. And now let us divide both sides by 70. So 70 and 70 will be cancelled out. So we have x is equal to 420 over 70. And that is equal to 6. Therefore, Boy Belize has been traveling for 6 hours. One more. What is the minimum angle of elevation, theta, and the distance, c, for an airplane to take off? Consider the given free body diagram. From our trigonometry, we have learned that if we are given the opposite side and the adjacent side to a theta, we are going to make use of tangent. So tangent theta is equal to the opposite divided by the adjacent. So let us substitute the values. So we have 75 for the opposite and for adjacent is 300. 75 over 300 is 1 fourth. Now, to solve for the angle, we have to make use of inverse function, the arc tangent, the inverse function of tangent. So, theta is equal to arc tangent of one-fourth. And using the calculator, this is equal to 14.04 degrees. Now, for the distance c, Pythagorean theorem states that c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared, since this is a right angle. And the inverse of squaring a number is extracting its square root. So let us substitute a and b, 75 and 300 may interchange. The square root of 75 squared plus 300 squared is equal to 309.23. Therefore, the airplane needs a minimum angle of 14.04 degrees for a distance of 309.23 feet to take off. It's time to check your understanding. Pause this video for more time. Let us answer. Let x be the number of guests and y is the total cost. Our function here is 10,000 plus 250x depending on the number of guests. And it says here that they have a budget of 25,000. So meaning this is your y. So 25,000 is your y. Let us substitute 25,000 for y. 25,000 is equal to 10,000 plus 250x. To solve for x, let us move 10,000 to this side. So we have 
25,000 minus 10,000 is equal to 250x. This is 15,000 equals 250x. Let us divide both sides by 250. So 250 and 250 will be cancelled out. So x is equal to 15,000 over 250 and that is equal to 60. Therefore, the parents of Vincent can invite 60 guests. Gets?